ASMR. Hey everybody, um, today I'm just going to do a mukbang or mukbang, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's too loud around here to call it ASMR, I think, because everybody's home. Because it's Memorial Day. Diet ginger ale for the bubbles. As Suave Green Rex to say. The bubbles. There'll probably be annoying cat sounds and video game sounds and TV sounds. Woo -hoo. Um this is just leftover wing stop. Um we ordered wing stop yesterday no it was the day before and um they gave us extra wings that we didn't order that we didn't pay for but they couldn't take them back so whatever i think they're just plain hot wings um i have some broccoli and cauliflower too and of course the leftover wing stop ranch which is really good This is going to be messy. It's hot too. I uh, <clears throat> warmed them up in the air fryer. I think <clears throat> most people like cauliflower and broccoli cooked. Honestly, I'm the type of person that I just can't get with warm cauliflower. I can't. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. I just can't do it. Um, <clears throat> warm broccoli with cheese I can do, but but I still prefer raw broccoli. So <clears throat> Memorial Day. That is one of those days that I don't like to... That's my son laughing. I don't know why things got louder just now. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um... I don't like to scroll through Facebook on Memorial Day because it gets a little awkward. You know the whole around Christmas time when people argue about how don't say happy holidays, say Merry Christmas. It gets a little bit like that with Memorial Day, although I understand the Memorial Day one better. Um, a lot of people get very offended. If you wish someone a happy Memorial Day, because it's not supposed to be a happy day, 
It's supposed to be a time to remember fallen military people. Um, and a lot of people just remember their relatives who've passed on, but um, because of the military connotation with it, people get really touchy about it. And people that say Happy Memorial Day are not saying it to be offensive. Um, because honestly, Like we were, we were military for a few years, right? And growing up, I didn't have anybody that was like still in the military. You know, my uncle was in Vietnam, but I didn't have anybody currently serving, so So to me, and a lot of other people that don't have constant association with the military, you know, they think of Memorial Day as a day when you go and you celebrate at a grave site by putting flowers and cards and stuff for loved ones. Maybe you clean up their grave site. And then you go home and you have a barbecue, or you go swimming, stuff like that. Um, so, even though there was the sadness there, of people no longer with you, you still went out and celebrated. But when we were military, like I learned more about how serious people take it as a not a day to celebrate. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I guess it's more in your face when you're military. So it's like, I can't get mad at people who say Happy Memorial Day, but I also can't get mad at people that are offended by it, especially since a lot of these people that are offended by it might have had somebody that was in the military that died in the last like 20 years. So it's very real to them, and it's not, not a day they feel like having a barbecue, it's a day they feel like being sad. But it's just awkward for me seeing all those <coughs> posts on Facebook, people arguing about it. So I guess that's one of the reasons why Facebook can suck. Some people also <clears throat> get a little pissy if you think a veteran on Memorial Day because they say it's a time to remember fallen. 
military and, and not current military. It, it's so complicated. I don't think there's ever anything wrong with thanking someone in the military, though. No matter what it is. I just like to not get involved. <laughs> this is so messy. But Wingstop Ranch is so good. Forgetting <clears throat> that I'm not whispering. Yeah. I think my husband is rewatching House. We were obsessed with House when it was first on. I think we kind of lost touch with it once, like he fired Cameron and Foreman and Chase and was interviewing the other people. So there was like a lot of episodes <coughs> that we hadn't seen and we went back and watched through a couple years ago. I still can't believe that as of a couple days ago, it's been 10 years since Lost ended. <coughs> I have a hard time rewatching that last episode. I find it very depressing. I didn't hate it, but I wish it had ended differently. But I also don't know how I personally would have ended it. Um, and I have actually went through and rewatched the whole series twice since it ended, which is no small feat because you have to get through all of the filler episodes that they had, and there were a lot of them. both times I've noticed things that I didn't notice in previous watch throughs so that's interesting this is not an ideal eating setup right here <laughs> a printer with a Chromebook a shoebox and two books 
with a plate on top of it. The dip over here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think it would be cool to get a table in here at some point instead of this desk because the desk just sucks. Basically, I think all the shows. That I like that are still on. I think are kind of in limbo because of the virus. Like The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead. Um, <clears throat> been waiting for Cobra Kai to come back again. It's kind of funny. I really was never a huge fan of the Karate Kid. But if you have YouTube TV, which we do, uh, they have. What do you call it? Not a reboot, but a continuation, really. Sequel. TV series. Of, uh... daniel son <laughs> When he is older. And Johnny. I find it really entertaining. And right now we're waiting for the third season. To pop up. Normally it would have popped up in April, I think, but I don't know if they had like the last bit of editing to do or the part in production where they might have needed people to pop back in for a second or something and they couldn't do it because of the virus. So it's not back yet. That's a frustrating thing with a lot of shows I think that they were just in the last little bit of getting the, the last little bits of production and then all this popped up and they had to stop so they were almost done whatever um okay <laughs> I'm gonna end this now and I will catch you guys later. Bye.